Hey everyone, great to see you today. Welcome to the Bookmatic channel. I'm Matt Hudson and in this channel I frequently talk about effective learning strategies, reading strategy, strategies. I love to read a lot of books. I'm also a teacher so I help people to learn and then of course I pass on the knowledge um, about how to learn effectively and how to read effectively uh, on this channel. So in this video today I want to cover the talk, topic about how to summarize audiobooks or books using ChatGPT based on the notes that you've already taken, effective notes that you've already taken, right, from the books and the audiobooks that you've been reading. So in this video we will cover uh, why summarize in the first place, also what not to do with ChatGPT because as we know it's not perfect but we can use it as a great tool to uh, shorten the amount of time that we're writing something, especially summaries. And then how to actually summarize step by step using the process that I've used on ChatGPT. That's what we're going to cover in this video. So the very first question that you might ask yourself is why summarize in the first place? I'm sure that's why you're here is you caught this thumbnail or you read the title, you're already subscribed to the channel or maybe you're uh, first time viewing this channel. So why summarize in the first place? Well, if you read as many books and if you learn as many things as I do, then you need a way to make your the knowledge that you've learned and the experiences that you've had, take all the, the notes that you've taken from the books and maybe your journal or anything like that and put it in a way to where you can summarize the main details, the major takeaways that are very useful in your life. Summarize it into a compact and concise format, which is basically a summary. And one of the ways that I take notes is I write in my own words. Using your own words already will help to make the summary, uh, summary even better for you, per more personalized for you basically. So key factor here is when you're writing your notes, you need to also make sure that your notes are in your own words. Of course, saving some great quotes here and there from the books that you've read, written in the author's words is totally fine. But, you know, expanding and elaborating on those ideas is also very important using your own words. And then the last reason why we should summarize is it's an easily referenceable source. And you'll see later that I actually include my summary of what I've read and what I've learned at the very top section of my notes for that book. So I, if I want to revisit that document, I can just look at the very top part of the summary and read through that summary just to get a refresher. And then if I want to get down into the nitty gritty details of the book, I can read through the rest of my notes if I want to. Let's get into what not to do with ChatGPT when you're summarizing. So if you just ask it to summarize a book, that summary will not be very detailed, especially uh, ChatGPT doesn't have direct access to the internet and it's also pulling from sources from 2021 and before as of filming this video. So if the book was released in 2022 or 23, it doesn't really have access to the whole book. And that's why it's important that you take your own notes of the book, of the relevant information that's relevant to you. And then that's what you can use to put into JetGPT when you ask it to write a detailed summary. And later in the video, I'll show you the prompt that I usually use when making summaries. That way you're, you can get the full amount of details from ChatGPT. Now let's get into the juicy part. This is actually the step-by-step -step process of how to summarize your books using ChatGPT. So I will give examples from audiobooks and I will also mention about how to summarize the uh, notes from your physical books as well. Uh, so uh, first of all, when you're reading through your book, I'm using the elephant in the brain as our example from Audible as I listen to that. Um, put your notes into your note-taking app. Audio to uh, books, you can take 
the bookmarks or the clips um, and type out or voice uh, to text whatever your thoughts are about that particular takeaway in the book. And the thing that I like about um, doing this with Audible is whenever I am speaking, I'm not word for word quoting from the text of the book. I'm speaking my ideas about the particular takeaway that I just heard from the book. So um, you can see some of the screenshots later about like some of the notes that I've taken. And these are obviously not word for word because I'm not reading the book. I'm not like underlining or highlighting like in a uh, physical book, right? And of course, in a physical book, you can, of course, use your own words as well in your notes. Uh, what I usually do for the physical books is I will write in the margin and then later I will also transfer to uh, the digital application or I will also uh, use my voice to text while reading the physical book. So I will open up my uh, note app and I will do a voice to text right into the, the note. So I can speak, I can do practically the same thing that I do while listening to the audiobook as I do with the physical book taking the voice to text note about my pure thoughts. Sometimes I find it easier just to write it out with my hand and then transfer it later. It just depends on the feeling at the time as well and also the, the environment. I'm not gonna be doing a voice to text in a very noisy environment around a bunch of other people. Whereas if I'm sitting up in my office here alone and I have like a half an hour or an hour up here or something like that, then of course I can do voice to text. This next step is extremely important. So after you have finished your book that you've read, your audiobook or your physical book, what you're gonna do with those notes is, well, usually when I'm taking my notes, I automatically categorize and usually I use like maybe the, the chapter title. Uh, it depends on the book, but usually the chapter title is, um, specific to the topic of what content is in that chapter. But if it's it's not always that case, sometimes the chapter titles are very generic. So what you want to do is categorize the, the notes into kind of like topics. So like for example, in the elephant in the brain, there's a chapter on laughter. Why do we laugh, right? And what's the significance to uh, our interactions with other people? What does laughter actually mean to us? Um, so as you're taking your notes and as you're categorizing it in your, um, your note taking app, this will come in handy when you're transferring it, transferring your notes over to ChatGPT to write the summary. Uh, and of course, one of the major factors that you should take into consideration is relevancy. All the notes that you take should be relevant to you. And as you're going through the books that you're reading, you're probably going to be taking notes on a whole lot more things than maybe necessary. You want to try to minimize that as much as you can before you paste every single thing that you've taken notes on into ChatGPT about a particular book. You need to go through and copy the very specific and relevant information that you want to go into the summary, especially because ChatGPT has a limit on the amount of words that you can put, which uh, I looked it up just the other day. It's like 1,500 words per prompt or something like that. So you need to make sure that your information, your summary from your notes is very specific to what you're working on right now. Um, if anything that might be useful for the research or the activity or project that you're working on. And so you might want to create a separate document for this summary. So go through your notes as you're preparing to write this summary, go through your notes, copy and paste the most relevant things from your notes that you've taken, put it into this other document, and then that's where you can take what the most important notes from your notes and put it over to ChatGPT for the summary. Okay, now that you've taken all of your notes, all of the relevant ideas that you want to put into your summary, you are now 
in your separate document probably, you are now ready to make that summary in ChatGPT. So what I want you to do is write this prompt before you paste all of your ideas into ChatGPT. So um, there's one that shows up on the screen here, which is slightly different than the one that I'm gonna say right now, which is uh, write a detailed summary incorporating the following relevant notes and excerpts from the book. In this case, in the example, it's the elephant in the brain. Include relevant information from external sources on the web. Use as many details from the notes I've provided as possible. And then boom, after you uh, paste your ideas into chat GPT uh, and press enter, boom, you've got your summary there. Now, the summary may not be perfect, but it has included a majority of your ideas and of course you've got your original notes so you can always refer to your original notes but the summary is just there to make it easier for you to quickly get the gist of what you've already taken your ideas on what you what notes and uh, the relevance to you your personal life because all of your notes include elaborations on the ideas from the book your own personal thoughts so this summary also should include that stuff too. So uh, I find it very useful as a quick way to review what I've written, what notes I've written, what ideas I've written, uh, rather than having to read through. Sometimes my uh, notes reach up to like 8,000 words. Other times it's only 1,000 words. But if it's only 1,000 words, then the summary is obviously going to be a whole lot less than that. So it saves a whole lot of time when reviewing. And also, like if I want to create content about a particular idea from a book, it makes it really easy to just pull out that little snippet, that idea that I want to create, uh, or lessons or workshops or whatever it may be that you are personally working on. These summaries can really help save you a whole lot of time. I hope what I covered today in this video is actually gonna be really helpful for you. At least experiment with it, play around with it, and see how it works for you. Uh, as a recap for this video, let's just cover the main points. So the first point is why summarize in the first place? It shortens the amount of time that you have to read through all of your notes. Uh, it's very purposeful, and it includes your own words. So uh, second thing is how to go through the summary uh, process. So read through your book, put your notes into your note app. After you've finished putting all of your notes, you've finished your book and putting all of your notes into your note app, you can then uh, take all of the relevant ideas from your notes and put it into like a sec separate document. And then that document can become the prompt that you put into ChatGPT using the prompt that I mentioned earlier uh, in that screenshot that I put on the video. And then boom, you've got your summary. You can then paste your summary back into your note taking app uh, for easy reference. So yeah, that's the process summed up in 30 seconds. Thank you so much for watching the video today. And I hope that you subscribe to this channel as well as share this video and add a comment about your thoughts about the summary process that I've mentioned in this video. So thank you very much and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.